Didn't I tell y'all that? World's first and only dark skin activist here in the building. In the building. It's beautiful out here. Let me show y'all where I'm at. Look at this. I'm in the jungle. Dark skin activist coming to y'all live from the motherfucking jungle. Yes. Yes, I'm here. And I got to talk about this because social media be throwing this shit up in our face. See, that's what I'm talking about. Society be throwing this shit up in our face. And then you, you, you expect for uh, dark skinned black women not to say nothing. Oh, I talk back. I'm going to talk back. I'm going to say something. I'm not going to just let it ride like that. Before I even keep going, um, for those of you that don't know, my name is Rashida Strober. I am the world's first and only dark skin activist. It's only one. All you bitches talking about dark skin. All you bitches talking about colorism. All y'all motherfuckers is copying me. Every fucking last one of y'all. Now one of y'all knew that it was even a thing to talk about being dark skin until I brought it online. All facts. Who this? Who that is? Hey, Trayvon. All facts. Um, so anybody you hear talking about colorism and dark skin, whether they be on YouTube, social media, reality TV, or a celebrity, all I'm stealing from Rashida Strober, the world's first and only dark skin activist. Don't ever forget that, y'all. I don't ever want y'all to forget that. Okay? Because all I'm stealing from me, I've been a dark skin activist. I started this movement way back in 1998. Way back in 1998 before anybody thought to talk about dark skin before i'm talking about as a topic i started a movement called dark skin activism call myself the dark skin activist in 1998 before there was youtube before there was social media all that and all these heifers did when i went viral in 2015 for calling out kendrick lamar the rappers darkism they sat there and they watched me go viral and you bitches you low down dirty bitches you copied that's what you did. So I always have to put that on blast. And I always have to let people know that. Before I even get started, I cannot talk about nothing that I'm going to talk about. Because everybody's stealing from me and they're not giving me credit. And they're taking food out of money out of my pocket. Taking from me that they don't fucking deserve. Some of these bitches had channels that wasn't even talk about no colorism and dark skin. They was talking about basic black stuff. And when they seen me go viral, when, they, when I went viral, ended up on... Uh, Charlemagne in the Breakfast Club making me dunk the other day and all that old stupid shit. They saw, oh, let me steal from Rashida Strober. That's what you dirty bitches did. And this is one crispy, black ass, ugly bitch that's been stealing from me the most. But bitch, you're not the dark skin activist. I said it. And I'm in it. My website is darkskinactivist.com. I'm laughing, but I mean, y'all know I mean everything I say. My website is darkskinactivist.com. Once again, darkskinactivist.com. Once again, darkskinactivist.com. And my cash app, for those of you that want to make some donations, financially support me is uh, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. My PayPal is ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. Ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. And thank you to the person that made a donation today. I appreciate you so much. I hope you watch this. Look, y'all. See, let me tell y'all something. See, these black men that be marrying these, these rich black men that be marrying these light skinned women, they don't think we're worthy of this dark skinned women. This is what they do they give the light skinned women the good life. They give them money, they buy them cars, they buy them houses on the fucking water. These motherfuckers ain't no good. And um, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all what triggered me. Let me tell y'all what triggered me. I was minding my motherfucking dark skin activist business. I was minding my black ass business. And make sure y'all like and share this video. But people need to hear this. People need to hear what I'm saying. I was minding my business. Let me go over here and walk by the water so you guys can see. I was minding my business when I was on social media. And social media... You know, YouTube and Facebook and all that kind of stuff, they be promoting anti uh, dark skin female things. So they throw it up in our face. And so on my timeline, it was a, a video of Evelyn Lozada. Do y'all know who that is? Some of y'all know who that is, and some of y'all don't. But Evelyn Lozada is um, one of the cast members on Basketball Wives. And I done told y'all, I don't watch that stuff. If I do watch it, it's only to critique and analyze it from 
the dark skin activist point of view. That's why I'm watching it. I'm not, I don't watch it because they're not entertaining to me like that. I, I just don't see it like that. But anyway, shout out to y'all that watch it. But anyway, um, it was being promoted on, on Facebook. And it was talking about Evelyn Lozada dating history. And it just reminded me of how uh, black men, the rich ones, how when they get money, what they do to us dark skinned women, how evil and nasty they are. And that she's, a, you know, she's an old nasty bitch anyway. She's an old foul bitch. And they was talking about her dating history and they talk about the, the one guy that she was with for 10 years and uh, how, how she left him when he lost all his money and how the bitch, how the motherfucker gave her like uh, $500,000. Um, he's talking about Chad Ochocinco with his black ass. Yes, I'm gonna talk shit about them because I'm sick of these wealthy black men and black men in general throwing dark skinned black women under the bus. You know, if black men <coughs> would marry dark skinned women, that would contribute to more economic development than I think than anything, but these old self-hating bastards, piece of shit ass motherfucking bum ass bitches, yeah, I'ma cuss you motherfuckers out. You think that a light skinned woman is better. You think cause they got light skin and so-called good hair, baby hair, bitch, you motherfuckers think that's better, but ain't no, I'm, I'm not gonna ever put nobody above me. Y'all can fucking go to hell. You can go and take all your fucking money and give it to them all you want. And that's why I ain't feel bad for that one that she was with for 10 years when that motherfucker lost all his money. I did not feel. Let me tell y'all something. I did not feel bad for him. They talked about how, and I don't know if this is true, but this is what the, I'm just reporting to y'all what this particular little video that was being made about her. They were saying that she was with the guy for like 10 years and he lost his money. And when he lost his money, she basically, they, they said that she basically left him. Like I said, I don't know if that's actually true, but, but if it is true, good. If it is true, I don't feel bad. I got no sympathy for those type of men because you know why? You know, I don't got no sympathy because they hate dark skinned women. They show, they, they, they might not say it to you out their mouth, but trust and believe them motherfucking bastards don't like you. You know why they don't like you? Because they show it to you with where they put their fucking money at. And she ain't no nice woman. She's a nasty bitch. She ain't no, y'all ain't gonna get on here. They always trying to make it make it out to see like seem like dark skinned black women are mean. And I know Evelyn Lozada, from what I see seen on the basketball, she's one of the most meanest, nastiest, evil bitches that I've seen on TV. She sure lives. And but these uh stupid ass black men, some of you motherfuckers, you love that shit. And that's why I was happy when she took all your fucking money. I was glad. I didn't I don't I don't I don't have no sympathy. I don't have no sympathy. I don't have no sympathy for you being broke and her taking your fucking money because you deserve it. Black men like that that don't like their own women, you can't, number one, you can't trust the motherfuckers. And, 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 and black women, don't feel sorry for them. Don't feel sorry for these motherfuckers. Let these, the ones that they think is so great and so good because they got light skin and good hair, let them, let them, let them use them. Let them use them up till they can't fucking use them no more. And don't say them motherfuckers, because some of them will try to run back, back to black women or dark skin black women when them bitches done been used up and they ain't got nothing to give you. They want to take from you. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, that, I mean, that, that uh, I'm not going to lie, y'all. That just, I was, that set me off. It set me off when I seen that. Because it's just so funny how black men allow other races to come into the black community and disrespect us. They're very fucking dis. Hey, um, Dar um, Daryl, feel I feel they're very disrespectful to us, y'all. That's another thing. Y'all don't see y'all don't y'all don't view that as disrespect. You don't think that what these black men and I'm not. I know I'm saying rich black men, but I'm talking about all y'all that do that. Y'all are some disrespectful ass motherfuckers, and the uh, black women, black women. Let me tell y'all something. The ones of y'all that don't want to sit up here and act like you don't understand what I'm saying and oh Rashida da 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 people can love who they love and shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. I'm so tired of hearing that. Oh Rashida, people love who they love. Oh yeah? People love who they love, all right. Why is it always motherfuckers love who they love when it comes to 
the relationship between the black man and the dark skinned black woman being torn down. Why is um, that's what I'm trying to understand? Why is uh, people always will come up with excuses when it come down to let's talk about black men and black women stand together and marrying each other and loving each other. Everybody got all the excuses in the world, including, oh, people in love who they fucking love. No, they love self-hate. You know what I'm saying? Who, who I got on the dare field? They love to self-hate. They love to hate dark-skinned women. And then, know what, I'm going to tell y'all what they'll motherfucking do, these bum-ass bitches. See, they won't. They go and get imitations of black women. Because that's all she is, is an imitation of, 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 of a black woman. She's not black. You're not a black. Evelyn Lazada, you're not a black woman at all. You may have some black in you. Um, you're clearly you're mixed, but you're not black. And so they want to go get imitations. Like she try to act like a black, what she think a black woman is, you know, loud, whatever, because they stereotype dark skinned black women with all that. But these bitches like her get the paid the money and you pussy ass motherfucking. I'm so fucking I'm, I'm mad about it when I seen it. You pussy ass motherfuckers. That's what you are. Pussy ass motherfuckers. You go and give all your money to them. That's why I was so happy. When they said she left him, I was so fucking happy. I sure was, old bitch, because he a self-hater. He the type of self-hating bastard that thinks that a light-skinned woman with good hair, that baby hair, good hair, that baby hair, good hair, that baby hair is better. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And they always go and get imitations. Like I said, bitch, get the real McCoy. And Chad Oshisenko with his black peanut motherfucking head ass bitch. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that bitch too. Peanut head bitch. They get the money and they was talking about how he, how he bought her cars. So uh, did all this shit for her, whatever the case may be. Hold on, y'all. When was the last time you did that for a, a black dark skinned woman? Chad Oshisenko. I bet you don't need, I bet, I bet that peanut head bitch don't even think a black dark skinned woman is even worthy of him. And that's where he came from, clearly, called bitch you dark skin. I'm pretty sure you got two dark skinned parents. And it'd be the main ones that be having a dark skinned parents. They be having they be having two dark skinned parents. But they feel that when they get them some money, coward ass motherfuckers, what they do is they go and they feel that they have to that that, that it's better. They, they're actually saying light skinned women are better than dark skinned women. Dark skinned women. Y'all need to understand this. These motherfuckers is, is they're not saying it out their mouth. They're showing it to you with their they're putting as that as that saying goes, put your money where your mouth is. Put your money where your mouth is. Okay, they're not saying it out loud. Some of them, some of these old nasty ass, punk ass, pussy ass, whole ho ass bastards are bold enough to say it out their mouth, but most of them ain't gonna do that. What they'll do is they'll go get in, <laughs> I mean, his, both of them got big ass foreheads, acting like she's so beautiful. This bitch average, she's average, okay? She got a big ass forehead just like you, a peanut head, but most importantly of all, she got a nasty ass attitude. But a dark skinned woman with the same attitude, a bitch would say, oh, I can't be with her cause she got a bad attitude. But no, nah, bitch, pussy ass hoe, punk ass bitch you can't be with her because she dark skin okay because see i'm cussing just like that her, her big foreheaded ugly ass cusses i'm saying what the fuck i gotta say but guess what a black man a, a wealthy black man with I, I wish a bitch would come in my face and say something to me and try to make me feel inferior i wish i'd be the last bitch you motherfuckers do that too pussy ass motherfucking hoes because that's what you are I'm gonna talk, I gotta talk about you and tell the truth. You're pussy ass hoes. You own some pussy ass ho shit. You know? They come from black families. These motherfuckers be the most self hating ass bastards. Punks. Pieces of shit. Trash. And then what they do, these women that they think, because they're not, they're not with them based on their character. I mean, one light-skinned woman that I could say that seems to have good character. I mean, there's an example of, I'm not saying all of them got bad character, but um, Camille Cosby, she seems to me like a good, I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I, I think she's a good woman, okay? A lot of y'all motherfuckers are mad because she stand by her husband, but she don't give a fuck. I like her. 
um, big forehead, big butter ass motherfucking nasty attitude, forehead bitch. You know, um, she doesn't have good character. The bitch even admitted to sleeping with uh, one of the cast members' husbands. Bitch, you sleep with married men. What's good about you, ho? What's good about that, black man? But you, but you a wife that up. You fuck ass motherfuckers a wife that up. A bitch that sleeps with married men. It don't get no worse than that. Cause that's whole shit right there. If you're sleeping with a married man, you're a fucking dirty, filthy, trifling, nasty ass whore. Okay? You a home wrecking, low down, dirty bitch. I said it and I don't, I don't backtrack. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. And all and you dark skinned women that are not upset about this, y'all some silly, y'all are dumb. Y'all are submissive, y'all are oppressed. Y'all ass kissers. Rashida Strober, the dark skinned activist, ain't never been no goddamn ass. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna say what the fuck I want and stand on my morals. How the fuck you wife up a, up, up a bitch that sleeps with married men, a whore that sleeps with married men. Explain that to me, bitch. Explain that to me. That's why I said, I'm glad that she left that, that, that motherfucker. I'm glad. I'm glad you went broke, bitch. Cause that's karma, bitch. That's karma, bitch. That's karma, bitch. That's what the fuck it is. For you hating your own black women, pussy ass motherfucker. That's what the fuck that is. Yeah, make sure y'all like and share this video. <laughs> Make sure y'all like and share this video. Yeah, because I'm back again. I'm back again, the dark skin activist, to talk my shit about you old self-hating ass, pussy ass motherfuckers. And then they got the nerve to try to, to walk around and parade themselves in front of the real black woman. Bitch, I wish you would. I wish a bitch would come with that bullshit in, in my face. No, nah, I'm not I'm not the type of dark skinned woman that's gonna bow down. I ain't bowing down to nobody, no motherfucker, because they think that they got a, a, a light skinned, biracial, so called good hair. Bitch, you ain't gonna never come in my motherfucking face and think you finna put somebody over me. I don't play that shit, bitch. I don't play that shit. I'm not the one, bitch. I'm not the motherfucking one. Uh, who we got on here? Grove the Wizard. Shout out to you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to ask you all that want to make a donation, <laughs> please go to my cash app. <laughs> my cash app is dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. And these old pussy ass motherfuckers, they take all their money and take it. They talked about how he took care of, you know her family and they do all kind of shit bitch why you ain't taking care of the black family old old pussy ass whole ass bitch that's what a real black man will do they'll take care of their own black family when i'm saying a black family a real black man will go and get them a black woman and take care of the black family and build a black community bitch bitch yep i'm gonna talk shit about you punk ass motherfuckers you ain't no real man they think they is. And then he whining and complaining. I took it, I did this, but they don't help me. Bitch, fuck you, that's good for you. Bitch, fuck you, I'm so happy. I don't give a fuck. You deserve it, bitch. You deserve it. You don't deserve a break today, biatch. You don't deserve a break today, motherfucker, at all. Cause you hate your own kind, bitch. And don't say you don't, because you're lying. The actions speak louder than the word. Don't believe that shit when they say they don't. They, oh, I don't. I like black men. That's a motherfucking lie, pussy ass motherfuckers. You're lying. You do hate dark skinned black women. You showing that in your choice taking care of everybody else's family and then that bitch got the nerve to sit there and say oh nobody's helping me when i need help good bitch good bitch isn't it beautiful out here i'm dark skinned bitch i'm the real black bitch with nappy hair ho fuck ass motherfuckers make me so fucking mad god i be getting mad y'all just don't understand how angry i be I'm, I'm very pumped up because we ain't been done right as dark skinned black women. And some of y'all dark skinned women be making me mad because y'all sit y'all ass back 
and y'all want to sit there and act like y'all don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And see, you, you, you being selfish because you'll say, I got my husband. It's like, I got mine, you get yours. I got mine, you get yours. Isn't that selfish? Y'all don't think that's selfish? Y'all don't think that's selfish? Just because you got your little fucking husband. You got your little fucking husband. I'm trying to read y'all. Sora said, hold on. You said, you know that big forehead is an African feature. Whatever. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I ain't, I ain't assigning nothing African to a self-hating rat looking, dog looking, fuck ass, pickany looking, pig face looking bitch. I ain't assigning nothing African. I don't care. I don't care nothing about that. I don't care nothing about it. Let me tell you what's African, Sora. Want me to tell you what's African and marrying a black, dark-skinned woman? Black, dark-skinned woman. That's what's African. Marrying a black, dark-skinned woman. That is what is African. That's what an African to do. That's what a real African to do, okay? That's what's African. Don't tell me about a big forehead being African. A big forehead can be any fucking race. No. Being African, the true definition of pro-black, until all you fake-ass pro-black men out there, fake-ass motherfuckers, if your wife ain't dark-skinned, bitch, you ain't pro-black in. If your wife ain't dark-skinned, bitch, you ain't pro-black in. If your wife ain't dark-skinned, bitch, you ain't pro-black in. If your wife ain't dark-skinned, bitch, you ain't pro-black in. It's so beautiful out here. This is why I come to call go, go my nerves, y'all. Because I, I just get so tired of darkism. There ain't no darkism in the motherfucking water. There ain't no darkism in the trees. There ain't no darkism out here. You know, I ain't got to worry about the rocks discriminating against me. Are you going to discriminate it against me, Rock, because I'm dark-skinned? Hi, huh, Rock? Hi! Are you going to... Tree, are you going to discriminate it against me because I'm dark-skinned? Let's ask this tree over here. Let's ask the tree over here. Are you going to discriminate against me because I'm dark-skinned? Fuck ass motherfuckers. Talking about West African. Shit, big, big, big ugly ass, egghead looking motherfuckers coming every way, race. Egghead ugly bitches, Mr. Ed looking motherfuckers. They come in every fucking race. <laughs> Let's tell the truth and shame the devil. Um, <laughs> the cash app is, yes, I'm, I'm looking for donations. Like these bitches be looking for rich black men. I'm looking for donations. <laughs> like these bitches be scouring. They be scouring. They know what to do too. They know what to do. They know that they know that they know that their light skin is what's going to win them over. They ain't got to have, it ain't about character of content. And I ain't saying that every light skin person is a bad person. Woman is a bad woman. I ain't saying that because I just told y'all I believe that Camille Cosby is a, is a good woman. But a lot of them, they, they ain't got no, they, they, a bitch that's sleeping with a married man, you can't convince me that a bitch that got morals. That, a bitch, a tra that's trash to me. That's it. What, what a garbage can at? Wait, is there a garbage can out here? Is there a garbage can? I ain't near no garbage can, but I, I could show y'all what that is. I could show y'all that that's hot, hot ass motherfucking garbage. Okay. Um, make a donation to my cash app once again. It is dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. <laughs> once again, it's dollar sign Rashida Lala. I'm raising funds to fight against darkism. So please make sure y'all go and make a donation Who we got on here cookies and milk we got uh marcasino grove the wizard sora girl feel i feel trayvon <laughs> trayvon said evelyn she said trayvon said evelyn she had been with tammy husband while exactly that's who i wanted to say you're right I'm, but i'm gonna show y'all exactly what that is I'm finna show y'all, cause some of y'all don't seem to understand. <laughs> y'all ain't getting it. Y'all are y'all are blinded by the light skin. Y'all are y'all need to be blinded by the dark skin. 
with morals and ethics and fucking values. And you can be blinded by the light skin that has morals and ethics and values. See, I don't discriminate. I really go off of, is, some, is a person a good person? She ain't no damn good person doing all of that. She's really not. She's not a good person. She's, y'all see that? This is what she is. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Trash. Trash. That's exactly what she is. And anyone that engages, I don't give a fuck if, I don't give a fuck if she dark skin, light skin, pink skin, purple skin. I don't care. I'm just sick of these black men that thinking that they better than you. Bitch, you ain't better than me because you got some money. They think they better than us too, dark skin women. They think they're better than us because they got money. Okay. And because now they've always, you know, a, a lot of them have always thought that we were inferior because we're dark skin. So they always been wanting to get out. You know what I'm saying? They always want to escape their blackness. You know, they always wanted a non-black woman because they've always thought that a dark skinned woman was inferior. So the ones that get the money, they're able to escape. But boy, look at here, them pussy ass motherfuckers like big foe head, big, big foe, big uh, coconut head bitch, big rock head looking motherfucker. Boy, look at here, sometimes karma can really come back on your ass. And karma can't really let you know what it is. Uh, Grove, the Wizards, Grove the Wizards said, but Rashida, we are not Africans. We are Afro people. Every race has dark skin phenotype. Okay, I hear you, but you know, all I'm saying is this. Um, in my estimation of things, dark skinned people got to reclaim their rightful place. And the people that are lighter have tried their best to subjugate us and oppress us, including our own black men. Our own black dark skinned men have been working against us. Not all of y'all. But when you decide that you're not going to fucking marry and date a dark skinned woman because you feel they're ugly and you don't like their fucking hair, then bitch, you're the goddamn motherfucking enemy. You're my motherfucking enemy. You're my motherfucking enemy. Period, point blank. Okay? I've always said that it is the black man that could change darkism and colorism for black women by choosing us god damn it and see i talk like this i cuss but you motherfuckers will pick a home wrecking hoe over me because she likes skin fuck you mother fuck you i'm so fucking mad about it every time i think about it i get angry and we want to cuss motherfuckers the fuck out because i'm tired of people and they shit i'm tired of black people oppressing other black people i'm tired of black men that's get taking their money and their wealth and giving it to other races of women. It's bullshit. It's darkism. And I ain't going to fucking excuse it. I ain't going to fucking excuse it. I ain't going to give you motherfuckers no goddamn pass. Fuck that. You throw, I've been quiet for too long. They throw up, they, they, they throw they fucking, uh, that like Eddie Murphy. Bitch make money off of fat, dark skinned women. Bitch make money off of fat, dark skinned women. Bitch picking at fat, dark skinned women and taking all the money back to non dark skinned women. Bitch, where my money at, motherfucker? Where my black, dark skinned women don't support his fuck ass movies? Sure, I'm sure that bitch won't care because he already got money. But it's principal, bitch. A bitch can't buy me. I don't give a fuck how much money you got, bitch. I'm going to still call you out. If you exhibiting darkism, motherfucker, I'm going to call your bitch ass out. And I'm going to tell you something about Eddie Murphy. Black, dark-skinned women, especially the heavyset ones, need to boycott that bitch. You don't see that motherfucker up there picking that light-skinned fat women, old pussy-ass motherfucking bitch. And then he take all the money and give it. After he make the money, making money, I'm not saying all the money is coming from the fat, dark-skinned character, but bitch... That Rasputian character, bitch, you made money off of that. Off a of fat, dark-skinned woman. And everybody that listening to me know I'm telling the motherfucker truth, old pussy-ass motherfucker. Let me get off here, because I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. <sighs> Woo! Talking about some preference. 
talking about preference. There ain't no fucking preference. Preference is constructed in, in racism, in darkism, in oppression. Fuck preference. Fuck a preference. Because I'm going I'm to I'm attack preference too. All these lying motherfuckers bringing their ass on the internet, coming up with all these different social constructs and words because you hate dark-skinned black women. Pussy-ass motherfuckers, I see right through you. Bum-ass motherfuckers. And then, and then dark-skinned women, they still want to get out. Don't give them none. They want to cue and take their money back to the non-black women. Don't give them motherfuckers shit. Don't give them motherfuckers shit. Don't give them shit. Boycott they motherfucking pussy-ass. Punk-ass bitch. Whew, Lord have mercy. I'm so glad to get this off my chest. I told y'all this stuff be therapeutic to me. I told y'all. This is not. Let me just make a disclaimer here. Because I know I'm going to have some lying bitches. Gonna come, I'm talking about men and women. They're going to come on here lying on me. Talking about, ooh, you hate light skinned people. You hate light skinned people. I don't hate no motherfucking body, motherfucker. I don't hate no mother. What I hate is injustice. What I hate is a black man hating on me because I'm dark skinned. Go talk to them. Go to, go ask the black man why do they hate on me because I'm dark skinned. Before you bring your ragged ass over here talking shit to me, go ask a dark skinned black man why are they hating on me because I'm dark skinned. Go ask them that. Why they calling me ugly? Why they not marrying me? Why they doing that? Don't come over here telling me that shit. Because I, I don't want to even hear it. I don't hate no motherfucker. And then when you stand up for your oppression, motherfuckers try to quiet you by saying you hate this person. Lying motherfucker. You a goddamn lie. And the truth ain't motherfucking. And you quit lying on me. Quit motherfucking lying on me. Quit lying on me. You're lying. God damn it. I hate racism. I hate oppression. I hate darkism. I hate privilege. That is what I hate. Quit making up lies on me. Because you don't want to, y'all don't want to face the facts. That's what that's what y'all do. When you can't face the facts and face the truth, the next best thing to do is lie on a person. Right? When you can't look yourself in the mirror and say, yeah, I'm like this. I did this. The next best thing to do is to make up a bold face lie on a person. As if that's not gonna work on me. You, people coming on here lying on me is not going to shut me up. In fact, it's going to make me talk louder. I might go get a goddamn bullhorn and start yelling and screaming. If you keep lying on me, it ain't going to make me be quiet. It makes me get turned up. Bitch, I get turned up. When people lie on me, I get turned the fuck up. And I get turned up with facts. I ain't going to get turned up just with, with emotions. Yeah, I'm a very emotional. I'm a female. Fuck you expect. But I'm going to come with some facts i'm going to turn up bitch with facts with facts because ain't nothing not unsaid on here was a lie prove me wrong prove me wrong somebody on here prove me wrong. Prove, prove me wrong prove me motherfucking wrong okay Point, where did i lie at where did i lie at bitches just be mad because they get called the fuck out Pussy ass hoes be mad when they get called the fuck out. That's what it is. Punk bitches be mad when they get called the fuck out. That's what it is. I already know what it is. Punk bitches, pussy hoes, low down, dirty ass motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm gonna cuss y'all out. I'm talking to the ones this applies to. You're just angry because you're getting called out. That's what it is. You don't like to be called out. You want to keep on in your fuckery and your bullshit. You want to keep on in your discrimination. You want to keep on oppressing dark-skinned black women because that's what you're doing, bitch. You're oppressing dark-skinned black women. But when I turn up and start cussing you bum bitches out and let you know I ain't going to fucking take it, bitch. I ain't going to fucking take it. I ain't got to fucking take it, bitch. I got a mouth. And I'm going to talk about it, bitch. I'm going to speak on it, bitch. Please donate to my cash app. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, that cash app is dollar sign Rashida Lala. I need donations. I need donations. I need donations. I told y'all I'm fighting darkism in court. Go make a donation. Don't just sit here and watch my lives. Go donate. Go donate. Go donate. Good Lord. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. I prefer the cash out, but you can go to my PayPal, ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. 
ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com now you can go to my website and find both my cash app and my paypal now my website is darkskinactivist.com darkskinactivist.com once again that's darkskinactivist.com if you go to my website you're going to see my cash app if you scroll down you'll see my cash app and you'll also see my paypal okay um once but i do prefer the cash app you can also go to let me show y'all the jungle welcome to the jungle you can also go to my um uh let me show y'all the jungle you can also go to my gofundme I go find me. I hope I don't run into no lions and tigers and bears over here. Um, my GoFundMe, Google Rashida Strober GoFundMe. If you Google Rashida Strober GoFundMe, you can go there. I'm $750 away from my goal on my GoFundMe. Somebody go make a donation. Look at how beautiful this is. I have to come out here and escape the motherfucking darkism. You bum bitches, be fucking with me. Be fucking with me. So I have to come out here and I have to escape. I have to escape from, 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 the, see, I ain't going to find no darkism out here. I told y'all the green trees and the ground and the grass and all that and the water. It's, it's you fuck ass human beings. That's why I'm an anti-natalist, anti-natalist, anti-natalism to the fullest because you fuck ass human beings. All you do is cause problems. All you do is exhibit darkism. All you do is do, do nasty shit to other human beings. You're fucking terrible. So I have to come out here to escape you motherfuckers. That's what the fuck I have to do. Because I'm tired. I'm tired of y'all shit. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of darkism. I don't understand how any black person in a right mind, dark skinned black female especially, I don't understand how you could not be tired of it. Every fucking day of my life, I wake up, I got to deal with this fuck shit. Throwing this shit on, in my face on social media. What the fuck? You know, on Facebook, y'all full of shit. Throwing that shit all up in my motherfucking face. Making sure that uh, black, dark-skinned women know y'all some inferior bitches. Making sure that dark-skinned black women, women know that, oh, yeah, bitch, I got your man. Bitch, your man don't want you. Your man don't want you. Your man don't want you. I got your man. My hair is better. My skin is better. <laughs> I'm a better person than you. I got your man. That's what, you, that's what society does. This is the shit... That society does, folks. This is the shit that society does. And y'all y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna drive me crazy because I'm gonna talk about you. I told you, YouTube ain't my only outlet. I've been the motherfucking dark skin activist, bitch. I built the motherfucking colorism blueprint that these old pussy ass bitches stealing from me from. It ain't nothing for me to go and get me a venue and I'll come to your city and talk about darkism. I'll come to your motherfucking city and talk about you bitches. I don't give a fuck. You think I fucking you think you think this is a joke? I sit out in the middle of this goddamn fucking place where I'm at right now and do a whole goddamn show talk about you motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You need to fucking understand that. You ain't gonna shut me up. You ain't gonna shut me up. That's what they try to do. That's why they got all these channels on YouTube where they talking shit about uh dark skinned black women. That's what that's 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 why. All these anti-black women channels, let me tell y'all something. I told y'all before, it's directed to dark-skinned black women. They not talking to light-skinned women because they don't feel that they, they need to be corrected. They're not talking to them. Y'all, but when is y'all black women, dark-skinned women going to learn? They talking to us. Pussy-ass motherfuckers. All of it's attacking the dark-skinned black women. All of it. They're fucking attacking us. They are not. I want to get. I want y'all to get this through y'all motherfucking head. Black women. The, these anti-black female channels are not talking about light-skinned biracial women. They're talking about you. They're trashing you, dark-skinned black woman. It's all built up to to beat down your fucking self-esteem to make you feel bad about your motherfucking self. That's what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, I I I've been seeing through that shit. I've been seeing. That's why. That's why they. Some of them go around. They had a little light skin sidekick on the side. Like what? What that dude named Professor Griff? I don't really want. I don't want to hear none of that man. I got to say. You ain't got no black dark skin wife, and you you pimping pro blackness. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck that. I don't want to hear that shit. Y'all can y'all can listen to that shit all day and all night. 
But if you ain't got no black dark skin, like Malcolm X did, Malcolm X had a black dark skinned woman, an intelligent one, a kind one by his side. Malcolm X got credibility with me. And bitch walk around this motherfucker talking about pro-black this and pro-black that and what black people need to do. And you ain't got you no black dark skinned woman, bitch, fuck you. Bitch, fuck you. Bitch, fuck you. Bitch, fuck you. I don't go to other people's channel. Um, I don't do that. <laughs> I'm the dark skin activist. I ain't never, uh, with all due respect, Cookies and Milk, I have never had to, uh, 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 I, don't, I told you I ain't no follower. I'm a leader of myself. Okay? It's, it's going to be equal with me. I don't let black, white, green, purple, I don't let nobody fucking lead me like that. I got my own thought process. I've been on YouTube a long time, and I ain't never, I ain't never follow behind a bitch. I'm just telling you straight up. I ain't trying to be rude. I'm just telling you the truth about what it is with me. I don't need to go to nobody else's channel. I got my own thoughts that I form formulate. I told you I've been a, I've been a dark skin activist. I started dark skin activism in 1998 and before Am Bitch brought their ass up on YouTube. Before Am Bitch brought their ass up on YouTube. Before YouTube even existed. Before YouTube, I've been in a pro-black community way before YouTube existed. That's how I can sit up here and tell you this stuff. This is how I can tell you. And that's why I don't follow behind motherfuckers. I don't follow behind nobody. For what? So they can lead me to the fucking fire, lead me to destruction. Don't follow behind me. Don't follow behind me. Don't follow behind me. Don't follow behind me either. Y'all got y'all. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all got y'all own mind. What y'all was doing before that was YouTube. What what was you doing before that was social media? You was using your own mind. You was reading books and using your own mind. And being a leader of yourself, I ain't never, you ain't gonna never see me up here following behind some bitch sharply. That ain't even in my character. I ain't trying to, I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm just telling you the truth. I don't play that shit. I've had my YouTube channel for years and I do not come up on here hopping on motherfuckers bandwagons following behind them. I ain't got to do that. Uh-uh. I've been a dark skin activist. I've been doing my dark skin activism before and one of these bitches brought their ass up on YouTube. They needed YouTube. I ain't need no motherfucking YouTube. I told you I can rent me a venue. I've been renting venues all across the country doing my dark skin activist tour. If YouTube left the day or tomorrow, that's all they got. I have way more than that. I have my plays, my dark skin activist tour, and my books. So these motherfuckers got to catch up to me. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't bow. We're equal. We're all equal. That's how I feel about it. I ain't trying to be funny. I'm just telling you the truth. But I'm on here to talk shit about these rich black men that marry light skin. Y'all some pussy ass motherfuckers. Y'all y'all really are. Y'all y'all cowards. Cowards. Weak. Defeated ass motherfuckers. That's what the fuck you are. Anytime you can't marry your own woman that look like you, bitch, you's a weak. You a divide and conquer motherfucker is what the fuck you are. You ain't real. You ain't pro-black, bitch. You ain't pro-black. You ain't motherfucking pro-black. Who told you you was, who lied to you and told you you was fucking pro-black? Who fucking lied to you? Bitch, a bitch done lied to these motherfuckers. They done suit, they just cause they walk around with dashikis on and um, regurgitating what somebody done told that. Cause a lot of them don't even sit down and read and study. They, they watch, nowadays they watch fucking videos and regurgitate, bitch, shut the fuck up. I don't wanna hear no fucking regurgitation. Use your original fucking thought process. You ain't fucking pro-black. Bitch, pro-black is marrying a black, dark-skinned woman, bitch. That's what the fuck pro-black it is. We're going to get this shit scraped. We're going to get this shit scraped today. Oh, Lord. It's hot. Bitch, probably watch this video and talk about me and talk about how black I am. And sweaty. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. I'm, that's why I'm out here. Sweaty and black, bitch. What else? What else? Everything you hate about my blackness, bitch, I'm going to highlight it fuck ass motherfuckers everything you fucking hate bitch hate my hair don't like my skin tone bitch i'ma get blacker i'ma get blacker i'ma get blacker i'ma get blacker i'ma get tar black bitch i'ma get tar black bitch i'ma get pitch black pitch i'm gonna be sweaty with it motherfucker i'm gonna be sweaty with it i'm gonna be sweaty with it you really gonna be mad huh bitch so sick of it
and we ain't supposed to say nothing. We we supposed to sit back and just take this shit. They flaunt, they self hate in our motherfucking faces. And bitch, don't be using my phrases without giving me credit. These motherfuckers flaunt their self hate in our faces, dark, black dark skinned women. And they don't give a fuck. So why should you give a fuck? Why should you give a fuck? The cash app is dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. <laughs> That's the cash app. Go make a donation. Thank you to the person that made a donation. I appreciate you. I really, really thank you. You can go to my PayPal and make a donation. <laughs> Ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. Ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. Ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. I'm gonna dance in the sun. I'm gonna dance in the sun and get blacker, blacker, blacker. <laughs> Make these motherfuckers mad. Uh huh, bitch. Yes, bitch. My butt gonna get darker, bitch. To my some dark butts, yeah. My ass gonna get blacker, bitch. What else? What else? What the fuck else? What the fuck else, bitch? <laughs> this is what we gotta do. We gotta take back our blackness. And blackness, the essence of blackness, is dark skin and nappy hair. Don't let these motherfuckers fool you and intimidate you and bully you. Oh, black coming out. Uh, sure do. Sure do. I ain't gonna never deny that. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the beginning and middle and end started with dark skin. The beginning, middle, and end starts with dark skin, bitch. Motherfucker. That's what I said. I didn't stutter. Did I stutter? Did I stutter? Did I stutter? I don't think I stuttered. <laughs> I was very clear in what I said. <sighs> Feels so good to get that off my chest. Because they fucking with me putting that bullshit on my timeline. Facebook putting that fuck ass shit on my timeline. Throwing that shit up in my face. I don't want to hear all that shit all the time. They think you want to always hear all this self-hate bullshit all the time. Hey, mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they think you want to hear all that fuck shit. I don't want to hear that shit. So if you if you gonna throw this shit up in my face, come fucking bothering me, then bitch, I'm gonna talk about your big foreheaded ugly ass. You and that peanut bitch. That bitch got a peanut head. I'm talking about that bitch is a little a little small like a little small little burnt peanut bitch. I mean he's a weasel looking bitch, ugly ass little motherfucker. And then they be thinking they be better than dark skinned women. Bitch, you ugly. You and that, that was an ugly ass couple. Y'all make an ugly ass motherfucking head button ass couple. Beavis and Butthead looking motherfuckers. Both of them. Peanut ass motherfucking heads. That bitch a burnt peanut. And then that bitch is a, she's an undercooked motherfucking peanut. Big ass peanut ass motherfucking head. Walnut head looking bitches. Fuck both of them. Cause she's so nasty. She's so nasty. Look at how she, man. I don't, she's not a nice person. For anybody that got a problem when he's talking about this lady, first of all, she's a fucking public figure. She's a public figure. A public figure. Public figures get critiqued. Public figures get critiqued, my friends. She's not nice, though. She's not. I mean, I'm not a Shawnee O'Neal fan at all because I could see the snake in her. She's, like, very manipulative and wishy-washy. But... She doesn't come across as nasty. Uh, this, 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 uh, you know, undercooked peanut comes across as just nasty. She do. Like, the, the, I'm like, bitch, what you mad at the world for? Bitch, you got light skin privilege. You, 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 you know, you fucking all these rich black men. You know, you, you, they're giving you money. What the fuck are you mad for? What's your fucking problem, bitch? Y'all just let me know you got a bad fucking we, dark skinned women that be in the hood. They got a reason, bitch, to be mad. They oppressed, ho. You ain't oppressed. You you taking the, the our, our best men. Not well, not necessarily our best men, but y'all know what I mean. The, the the black men with money, cause you they they they, they taking you cause they self haters and they're giving you all their fucking money. What the fuck are you mad for? 
What the fuck are you angry for? You you are kept motherfucking woman. You are kept woman. You getting money because of your skin tone and your hair. What the fuck are you upset for? Why the fuck do you have a bad attitude? It's supposed to be dark skinned bitches like me that got the bad attitudes because we so-called broke. But you got all this money and you still got a nasty ass fucking attitude. This is why I don't feel bad about going in on fucking undercooked peanut oh, beavis and butthead looking ass. Child, please. Child, please. Shit. Alien looking ass. Eyes all sunken in and shit. The fuck? Why do I need to fucking feel bad? You would think. If a bitch got money coming in, they got money in the bank, they're living in the lap of motherfucking luxury, they, they eating good, wearing fine clothes, got their bank account, got a house. What the fuck? In fact, you a selfish, low-down bitch. If you still mad and got an attitude and you got that kind of money, bitch, you shitting on black people that's in poverty, that ain't got nothing. You ought to be ashamed of your motherfucking self, to be honest with you. You're a fucking joke and a goddamn travesty, goddamn it. That's the shit that pisses me off. So don't come up on here talking and telling me what I shouldn't do. When we dealing with a motherfucker that got all this access to money and privilege versus a black dark-skinned woman that's sitting up in prison because they had to go out and do, uh, maybe sell drugs to feed their family. You can't compare that. You can't motherfucking compare that at all. I ain't gonna let y'all do that shit. This is the darkism that I'm gonna fight against. Bitch around here with a bad attitude and, and taking all of our black men's money. Bitch, go sit your motherfucking beefus and butthead looking ass down. Turkey, big turkey, turkey forehead looking bitch. The fuck? <sighs> Didn't want somebody to feel sorry for him. Fuck! I feel sorry for you for. What the fuck? I, why, why, why do I need to feel sorry for you? Um, help me to understand that, y'all. What the fuck? Why do I need to be feeling sorry for a person like that? Why? Can somebody help me to understand that? Okay. All these oppressed, dark seeing people that got better attitudes. Okay. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. There's a lot of dark skinned people that have way better attitudes. They did a study about maybe 15, 20 years ago. They say, who is the happiest people on earth? And it was the black dark skinned Nigerians. It was the black dark skinned Nigerians in the so-called third world. And the most depressed people, white mice, was the people in New York. The center of fucking wealth. The irony, the motherfucking irony. So explain to me, why do I need to feel sorry for a bitch that's sitting in the lap of luxury versus black dark skinned people that truly is in poverty? Get the, get the, get the fuck out of my face. Pisses me the fuck out. Let me throw a rock because I'm so, I'm just fucking pissed. See this fucking rock right here? You see this rock? Get the fuck out of my motherfucking face. Bullshit. You want somebody to feel sorry for their motherfucking ass. Bitch, you been kept because of darkism, because of colorism, bitch. Feel sorry for you. Kiss they motherfucking ass. That's why they get them old dark skinned lap dogs. Dark skinned lap dogs. I ain't never been no dark skinned lap dog, bitch. I walk alone. Y'all see me walking alone. I got no problem walking alone. I don't give a fuck if a bitch disagree with me. I don't care. Because I know I'm right. I know what I'm saying is right at the end of the fucking day. I know that what I'm saying is the truth. And y'all know it too. Some of y'all just in denial and you want to be a lap dog and lick ass and sit at the cool table. Bye, bitch. I come over there and turn that motherfucking cool table over. I motherfucking come over there and flip the cool lunch table, bitch. That's what I do. Knock all the goddamn food off of it and flip it over. Now what? Now what? That's what the dark skin activists will do. Y'all want to be at the cool table, bitch? I'll dismantle the goddamn cool table. Take that cool table and throw it out the motherfucking lunchroom, bitch. Make you go get it. Bring your own lunch. Sit your ass on the floor. Get a lunch, lady. Some paid time off, bitch. Fuck ass motherfuckers. It make me sick. Want somebody to feel some boo hoo hoo for them? What the fuck you did that was boo hoo hoo worthy? I feel sorry for people 
and have empathy on people that actually deserve it. I don't care if they light skin, white, dark skin. I love all of humanity. Let me make that clear. I love everybody. Y'all can sit there and say whatever the fuck you want to say about me. I love everybody. I help anybody. But what I don't love and what I hate is privilege. And I, what I can't stand is a black man throwing his dark skinned black woman under the bus for a Beavis and Butthead looking immoral bitch. For an undercooked peanut head looking bitch who look like their eyes is sinking back into their motherfucking forehead. How about that, motherfucker? How about fucking that? All right, I'm tired. I'm tired of talking about this dumb bitch. <sighs> I'm ruining my fucking day. I was having a, I was having a good day. Y'all think I'll be having good days? I actually do. But Facebook need to stop putting that bullshit on my news feed. Facebook don't. If y'all don't want me to talk, y'all need to boycott Facebook because they doing this shit to us on purpose. Dark skinned women setting, setting, triggering, triggering me. I'm trauma. I told y'all I was traumatized. I ain't never made no bones about me being traumatized as a dark skinned black woman for all the shit that the society done did to me as a dark skinned black woman. And you black men, y'all be in cahoots. You black men, a lot of y'all, not all of y'all, not all of y'all. Anyway, my cash out. And I want to thank everybody for watching. I'm tired. I'm tired of talking about this dumb bitch. Dumb bitch number one and dumb bitch number two. Egghead looking motherfuckers. Both of them got eggheads. Um, um, who is this misunder under understood? Bitch, did your mama do it, hoe? Did your why you ain't ask your mama to flush you down the toilet? P pussy asshole. Let me talk about this hoe. Let me talk about this hoe. Did you ask your mama to flush you down the toilet, bitch? Cause she should have aborted your your bitch ass. You know how when you go in there and shit, she should have shitted your bitch ass in the fucking toilet hole. How about that? Pussy ass bitch. And your grandma should have sh uh, shitted her motherfucking ass down the toilet. Stanking ass piece of shit. And you keep, you come on here fucking with me, bitch. I'm going to get my own call private investigator to get your IP address. And you'll get some lawsuit papers filed on your pussy ass. And then we'll see you come talk your shit. Ho. Bitch. Your mammy a bitch, ho. Your grandmammy and your great grandmammy a bitch. Pussy ass motherfucker. You a pussy ass motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what you seen, ho. You better get your motherfucking ass up off my live with that shit, bitch, before you be next to get sued. You better get your motherfucking ass up off my live harassing me, bitch, because I will find your motherfucking IP address and I'll serve you them legal papers just like I did him. Now, what the fuck you want to do, pussy bitch? Don't come on here fucking with me because you don't know who you fucking with. I ain't playing with you. I drag your motherfucking ass all up and down the legal court system. You want to fuck with me with that harassment. You don't know who you fucking with, ho. You better go over there and ask your, your mammy, bitch, why she ain't flush your pussy ass down the fucking toilet. Planned Parenthood, ho. No, nah, that bitch better, she better get off my motherfucking live. Because I'm telling you, I, all these motherfuckers that want to come because they seen this person video and that, yeah, you can let that bitch send you over here harassing me. But you better be ready when I take your ass to court and when I file a lawsuit against your pussy ass. You better be ready just like that motherfucker was if you want to fucking start some shit with me. Because I ain't going to play with you, bitch. I'll find out where you live. I will serve you with some court papers and I'll see your bitch ass in court, ho. Because you bringing your ass over here starting with me, bitch. I'm not the one. Now, I ain't going to stop cussing nothing. Because these bitches don't like what the fuck I got to say. Bitch, fuck you. This is my channel. If you don't like what the fuck I got to say, you pussy ass motherfucker. You need to take your ass to another goddamn channel. I will file a lawsuit against your bitch ass. And I'll win. Now, what the fuck you want to do, ho? What the fuck do you want to fucking do? You want to see me in court? Bitch, let's go. Let's fucking go, bitch. No, because these motherfuckers think they can come over here and talk shit to me. You can't do that with me, bitch. I will flex my motherfucking constitutional right on a bitch pussy ass. And I will see you in a fucking court of law. You want to play with it? Fucking internet motherfucking stalkers and shit. I don't take that shit lying down. 
Bitch, I've been in litigation for two fucking whole years and I'm still going. I got a lot of energy for you bum ass fucking coward ass bitches that sit your ass behind a fucking computer thinking you finna come stalking and talking shit, bitch. I will fucking sue you. I will fucking drag your ass to court for, for however long it takes. You want that? Let's fucking go, bitch. Cause you brought it to me, ho. Pussy ass motherfucker. Your mama a pussy bitch. Your great grandma and your granddaddy a pussy bitch. Your whole fucking family a pussy ass bitch. Fuck, fuck it with me. I'm not the one. Bitches can't bully me. They thought they could. The ringleader thought that the ringleader thought they could bully me. The shit ain't work. The fuck you think his minions gonna be able to do it? You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up, bitch. Fuck is wrong with you, pussy ass motherfucker? Fucking hoe coming on here with that bullshit. Fuck ass bull, bullshit ass hoe. Yeah, you keep talking your shit. Because I'm going to make sure I screenshot your motherfucking name, bitch. We find our IP addresses over here, ho. We find our IP addresses of stalkers. Cyber stalkers. And we sue motherfuckers like you. Talking all that shit on the internet. Let's see you talk that shit in court, bitch. You'll bow down, ho. You don't want it with me. Because I don't just talk about doing it. I'll do it for real, bitch. I do it for real, ho. Trick piece of shit your mama a piece of shit over here fucking with me oh pussy ass motherfucker think i ain't gonna say nothing i say something all right i say something in, in writing when your ass gets served with the process server bitch you'll really find out what time it is so you can let your little your little fucking leader you can let your fucking leader boost your head up, bitch. You'll find yourself tied up in litigation for years with me, bitch. Now, what the fuck do you want to do? What the fuck do you want to do, bitch? Bring that smoke over here if you want to. Y'all got to understand these hoes bringing that smoke to me. You bring that smoke to me, bitch. I, I'm going to strike back legally on your pussy ass. I'm going to strike back legally on you, bitch. Because everybody on the internet can be found. Bitch, I, you can be found. You harassing me, bitch. Your IP address can be found. You can be sued, bitch. Play with it. The cash app, once again, is dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Motherfuckers do all that talking on YouTube. Trust me, they shut the fuck up when they get them papers served on their pussy asses. Trust me when I tell you that. <laughs> I speak from experience, bitch. You let your leader push you up to cyber stalking, bitch. Go ahead. Matter of fact, when I get off this live, I will be giving my private investigator a call and start looking into some motherfucking IP addresses. Serving some work on some motherfuckers. That's what we gonna do. That's what we gonna do. Now what you wanna do? Cause you brought your shit over here to me. You brought it to me. Remember that. You brought your bullshit to me. And when you bring your bullshit to me, when anybody brings their bullshit to me, I'm going to deal with you legally and accordingly. Don't fuck with me. I'm not that person to do that with. And you ain't got to listen. Some people got to find out the hard way, bitch. The cash app is dollar sign Rashida Lala. This, this bitch done made me mad. But let me tell you something. I don't fucking play around with you motherfuckers. I don't play around with you motherfuckers that come over here from your, your, your leader, your leader that's telling you to do shit. Your leader is going to get your ass tied up in a fucking court of law and I ain't going to fucking play with you. That's what your leader going to get you, bitch. And I ain't, I ain't got no problem. I ain't got no problem with that because it's not a problem for me. It'll damn sure be a problem for you. 
but it will not be a problem for me. I'm ready. I stay ready, bitch. You better understand that. The cash out. Whew. It's dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Um, let me see. Just my four cents. Thank you for that five dollar. You said, why are you letting these people get under your skin? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You don't understand how this shit go. <laughs> they, they can think that. Everybody think that shit until they end up in a court of fucking law defending themselves against my lawsuits that I will file. You ain't gonna get under my skin. You might think that. Keep thinking that shit. Keep thinking that shit. <laughs> Cause this is a fucking war. You ain't gonna motherfucking win with me. You ain't gonna win that war. What's going on is the leader, the ringleader is sending people over here. The ringleader I've done been sending people over here for two years. And I let me tell you something. I've already taken several people to court already that came with that fuck shit. And they found out the hard way. So they ain't getting they getting under their own damn skin. They ain't getting under shit. Cause when I get off this motherfucking internet, people can talk shit all they want on the internet. But when I get off this motherfucking internet and I'm ready to fucking file a lawsuit on your ass, there's nothing you could do to stop me. And you better be ready. You better be motherfucking ready. Because I ain't going to let up. When I put my legal foot on your motherfucking neck, bitch, I ain't going to let up. You don't know who you fucking with. But you'll find some people have to find out the hard way. When they listen to stupid motherfuckers telling them to go over here and say this and do this and harass and stalk and do all that. When they have to find out the hard way. That, huh, oh, this ain't what it is. Then that, that's how these motherfuckers will learn. So you can play that game if you want to. But I'm ready. I fucking stay legally ready, bitch. Stalker ass, cyber stalker ass, bitch. That's what you are. Let me call this motherfucker name. Pull up the uh, chat. Document it. Bitch, come over here cyber cyber stalking me think you gonna bully me oh no we don't work like that over here bitch misunderstood you a cyber stalker sent by the chief cyber stalker now you keep on cyber stalking and harassing me bitch i will find your ip address and i will be serving them papers on your bitch ass misunderstood i'm talking to you bitch since you brought your punk ass over here in my fucking live chat fucking with me cyber stalking me i'm talking to your punk ass i will find your goddamn ip address and i will fucking serve you them papers bitch you brought your shit over here to me I don't even know the fuck you are, pussy asshole. Take that shit somewhere else. You better take that shit over there to your bitch ass ringleader and leave me the fuck alone. Because you don't want this over here. You don't fucking want it. I ain't going to play with these motherfuckers. I've been in litigation for two years. And if and one of these bitches think they're going to keep on coming at me, you got the wrong one. Because I ain't going to back down off your ass. You're going to be fucking running from me by the time I finish filing all these lawsuits against your, against your bitch ass. Filing all these causes of actions against your bitch ass. That's what's going to happen. Misunderstood. Bitch, I'm talking to you. I know my rights. And I flex them. I know my constitutional rights and I flex them with no motherfucking problem. Try it. Oh, it's five o'clock. My battery about to go dead. All right. Okay. 
Okay. The cash app once again. Whew. Bitches just mad. They mad. They can't be black and look like this. That's why they angry and upset. These hoes is mad. But I tell you one thing. I'm, I'm sitting back in my car now, pussy asshole. You bring your motherfucking bitch ass over here harassing and stalking me again. I'm going to call up my motherfucking private investigator. We're going to find your IP address and I'm going to fucking file a lawsuit against you. You better stay the fuck away from me, bitch. You better leave me the fuck. Bitch, you better cease and motherfucking desist, ho. You better cease and motherfucking desist, ho. That's what the fuck you better do. That's what the fuck you better do. Pussy ass bitch. I'm watching this fucking chat. And I'm going to send the whole fucking live to my own personal private investigator. And we're going to find all the IP addresses of the bitches that's stalking. That's what the fuck we going to do. And all that shit you up here talking, you bring your motherfucking ass to a court of law and talk that shit. Because you can't stop me from coming on here talking my shit, bitch. The cash app is dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. I'm asking y'all to make donations because I might have to file another lawsuit. I may have to uh, do another uh, legal action against these people. So make sure y'all go and make a donation. Support the dark skin activists because these people are coming on here from the ringleader because they mentioned the ringleader's name i ain't even said nothing about nobody else but this person that let me know the person still stuck and har harassing me through their followers that's why i'm documenting all this shit right now i'm documenting it on this day on this day july 14th the ringleader is still sending their stalkers and harassers the Come over here and fuck with me and cyber stalk me. Misunderstood is one of the people, as well as Matawas is another one. And this video today serves to document it. It's misunderstood. And it's Natawas. That have been sent by the ringleader to cyber stalk and harass me. And I'm documenting it right now. The cash out, folks. But my phone about to go there. Is dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Okay. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Make sure y'all go and make a donation. I want to say thank you to those people that have donated since I've been on here. I really appreciate all of y'all donations and all of y'all support. Uh, thank you, Dunn. Thank you for all of my supporters on here. Because I might have to call on y'all again financially for a second, uh, actually, you see, a fourth lawsuit. We might have to do that. So make sure y'all go and make a donation. The cash app is dollar sign Rashida Lala, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. And my uh, PayPal is ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. Ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. And we good over here. We have, through all this process of the cyber stalking and harassment, I've learned a lot. I've learned how to fight back through the law with these stalkers. So I've, I've gotten real good at it. It's public record, my cases. So y'all know I ain't playing. I don't fuck with people. I only strike back legally when people come attacking me and violating me. So I may have to call on y'all to raise funds for another lawsuit. 
another lawsuit. And y'all know that it'll, it'll get done. Because this person, their, their ringleader, their leader, they're allowing their leader to have them engage in illegality. And I'm not going to take it. I will get your IP address misunderstood and mad at loss. And I will file a lawsuit against you. The cash out, once again is dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Please go make a donation. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. Once again, ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. Make sure y'all go and make a donation because honestly, it's looking like I may have to file another lawsuit. And the reason why I may have to file another lawsuit is because the ringleader that started the stalking is still sending their followers to stalk me and harass me. That's what's going on here. That's exactly what the fuck is going on here. Because I haven't mentioned anything about no case, nor about the ringleader. But these people that came from the ringleader brought their ass over to me, starting shit with me. I'm on here talking about black men marrying light-skinned women when they rich. And these motherfuckers coming over here starting shit with me. That's what's going on. You got... The ringleaders sending people over here right now. I'm going to let this shit run because I want this to be documented on how they're still stalking and harassing. Let them keep talking. This video had nothing to do with any of the litigation. Nothing. But the person that started all of this out, their followers are here two years later, still stalking and harassing, still cyber stalking. Yeah, keep talking because I'm a damn sure turn this whole fucking live over to the motherfucking private investigator. I'm going to turn the whole goddamn live over and we're going to find out who behind all this. Keep talking. Keep commenting. Because it's all being documented. Dollar sign Rashida Lala is the cash app. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. We're going to let this shit go. We're going to let this shit go, y'all, so that it could be documented. Who all these people are, I already know where they're coming from. They're coming from the ringleader. They're coming from the ringleader, but it's all being documented. So we're going to let them go. We're going to let them rock it out in the comment section. Because we're going to get some IP at your addresses. That's what the fuck we're going to do over here. We're going to find out who you stalkers and harassers are. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Go donate to the cash app. Hit the cash app, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala.
we're gonna let them rock. No, let them do it, RZA, because I'm, I'm going to turn all this, I'm going to turn this whole live over to a private investigator, and we're going to find out who behind this, just like I did before. This ain't nothing new to me. We're going to figure out who behind all of these profiles. That's why I'm not ending this live. Oh, RZA, believe me, this whole live is going to get turned over.
they came all at once, um, cookies and milk, because these people are coming from the person that began cyber stalking and cyber harassing me, that sent these people to threaten to kill me, that these are the same people that sent me dead body parts. These are the same people that threatened to blow up my house. That's where these people are coming from. That's why I'm letting this continue to go. Because all it is is gathering evidence of the cyber, the continued cyber stalking and harassment. That's exactly what it is. It's gang stalking and cyber stalking that was initiated two years ago by the ringleader who threatened to kill me, who gave out my address, who sent his followers to my page, and they're still coming now. That's who these people are. And that's why I'm letting this live continue to go so that they can keep commenting. Because what I'm going to do is turn this over to the police. I'm also going to turn it over to um, the person that I have who's a private investigator so we can find out their IP addresses and take these people to court. So let them keep commenting. All being documented. I, I definitely will. Oh, let me tell you, I'm sending this live to anybody that has any power to find out who these people are and deal with them legally. Yeah, they're very violent. They threaten to blow up my house. They threaten to kill me and my family. And this all came from the ringleader. That's where it all started from. So this is ongoing. This is proof that the harassment is ongoing and continued. One second, y'all. And I'm, I'll be back. One second. So I'm not going to end this live. We're going to capture all of this evidence.
hands of the person that is the ringleader um, two years ago. And, and the thing is, I didn't come on here even talking about this person. That's why I'm leaving this up because I want this to be documented. I didn't even come on here and mention this person's name or nothing. A person named Miss Misunderstood came into my chat and began cyber stalking and harassing me and mentioned the person's name. That's how I know that this is one of this person's followers. And then all of the person's followers began to come in here to cyber stalk me. And this is documentation. So what I need y'all to do is make sure y'all support me. I need y'all because they're coming over here starting shit with me and still cyber stalking and still harassing me after two years. And I'm documenting this for YouTube. I'm documenting this for the courts that I'm still being cyber stalked and harassed by this person who has threatened to kill me, who has told his followers to kill me. He's gave his at my address out. These people have sent me dead body parts. They've threatened to blow up my house and they still continue to stalk and harass me. Let the comment section reflect that. Please make a donation. The cash app is dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. And I, I will not stop. I will let this live go for as long as my battery will allow. And I'm asking everybody that's watching this to make a donation. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. You can also go to my PayPal, ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. Ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. We need to get together, people, and take down these cyber stalkers. Take down these cyber harassers that have nothing better to do but come on to YouTube and hide behind a computer and threaten, cyber stalk, cyber bully and harass people that they don't agree with. They do not have a legal right, a constitutional right to cyber stalk, threaten and harass people because you don't agree with them. And I'm not going to stand for it. I'm going to be on here all night if that's what it takes. Documenting these comments the cash app once again is dollar sign rashida lala once again dollar sign rashida lala dollar sign rashida lala please go make a donation thank you to those of you that have already made donations i appreciate y'all but we still need to raise more money we still need to raise more money i need to raise as much money as possible dollar sign and make sure y'all share this video Make sure you share this video because I want this video to be documented across as many platforms as possible, across as much of YouTube as possible. Make sure you share this video. Share this video. Share this live. Document this live. Everything that's going on in this chat, share it. Share it. The cash app is dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, that is dollar sign Rashida Lala. Please go make a donation. Please go make a donation. Everybody that's against cyber stalking, cyber harassing, make a donation right now. Make a donation right now. Go to one of my platforms. You can also go to my GoFundMe and make a donation. Also, write YouTube and let YouTube know about these cyber stalkers, these harassers that are angry because they don't like or agree with what other people are saying. And so what do they do? They threaten to kill you. They stalk you. They harass you. We cannot stand for this. We cannot tolerate this. Share this video. It serves as documentation of my continued harassment and stalking that was started by the ringleader two years ago. Share this video. Share this video. Um, this one person is saying he, this person has created a, a profile with my name and called it Rashida Strober Fish Smell 
nigger cunts. And it said you will receive family members in body bags. Document it. Once again, this person, one of the followers of the ringleader, has created a fake profile and said the fake profile's name is Rashida Strober, fish smell and cunt. You will receive family members in body bags. Uh, they're very sick, Prairie, Prairie, Prairie Justice. But you got to remember that all of this started with the ringleader two years ago that told them to kill me, told them to attack my family, gave out my address. And today I started this live, said nothing about this person. I ain't said one word, but one of this person's followers by the name of Misunderstood came into my chat, cyber stalking and harassing me, stating that she came here from the ringleader. And after this person misunderstood came into my chat, cyber stalking and harassing me, the rest of the followers from the ringleader followed. And that's what's going on here. Document it. It's documented, Sydney. Don't worry, it's because I already know what to do with these people. I already know that I can get their IP addresses and serve them with some lawsuits. That's that's the reason why I'm not going to stop this live. I'm going to let it keep going. Because this live and this chat serves as documentation of the continued stalking, cyber stalking and harassment that I have been going through for two whole years. The cash app is dollar sign Rashida Lala, dollar sign Rashida Lala, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Please go make a donation. And I want to state clearly for the record that I didn't mention this person's name nowhere in this live. This live has nothing to do with this person. I made this live today about rich black men who marry light-skinned women. About a good hour and some change into the live, the ringleader who, who began the cyber-stalking harassment campaign against me two years ago, one of the ringleader's followers by the name of Misunderstood came into my chat, making it known by using the ringleader's name that she came as a result of the ringleader. And then after this person misunderstood, made it known that she came as a result of the ringleader to stalk and harass me, all of the other ringleader's followers started to come.
Thank you, Sydney. I appreciate you. Thank you, Sydney. I appreciate that uh, donation. Thank you, uh, Riza Saika. Um, one of the followers of the ringleaders, Mario Kaiser, in the uh, chat stated, you will receive your family members in several body bags. Thank you, Trayvon. I appreciate that. Thank you, Clyde. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Prairie Justice. I am being cyber stalked. This is the cyber stalking in action right here. This is documentation of cyber stalking that was started two years ago by the person that I had to go through litigation with. This is the cyber stalking. This is the result of the cyber stalking right here. This is why I won't stop this live because it serves to document as continued harassment and cyber stalking that was started two years ago. The chat serves as evidence of continued 
cyber stalking and cyber harassing. So for the police, YouTube, or any power and authority that's looking at this live, all you got to do is look at the chat and you will see the cyber stalking and harassment continue that started two years ago. The cash app is dollar sign Rashida Lala, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Please make a donation. I'm counting on y'all to make a donation. I'm just hoping that my battery does not go dead on my phone. And if y'all give me a minute, because I'm going to go get my other charger, because I'm going to keep documenting this. We're going we, we're gonna to keep it going, because it's serving this. All this is is serving this documentation. I'm not going to stop letting this uh, play. If y'all give me a minute, I'm going to go get another charger. Give me a minute and I'm going to go get another charger because I want to make sure that this keeps documenting. I'm going to put I'm going to put I'm going to put the camera like this. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Please make a donation.
tired of this fuck shit, y'all. Sick of this fuck shit. Look at these stalkers and harassers. Tired of this fuck shit. Y'all make sure y'all go and make a donation to my cash app and support me financially. Um, my cash app is dollar sign Rashida Lala. Look at these stalkers and harassers. They're still on here stalking and, and harassing me. They won't stop. And I want it to be made known that all these people came from the ringleader. These people are mad and angry because I come on here. Hold on. Let me put this on the charger because I went up there and got my other charger, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second because I'm... These people are mad. They're mad because they're stalking me because I'm talking about colorism and dark skin. Let's be clear. I came on here and I made this live about darkism like i always do i have a right to fucking come on to my channel and talk about what i want without people coming on here stalking and continuously harassing me and i'm gonna let this live go as long as my battery will let it because i'm documenting it i wasn't fucking with nobody what i was doing was doing what i always do which i have a right to do i might talk loud I might cuss sometimes, but one thing about it, everybody know I don't fucking threaten people. I don't cyber stalk people. I don't go to people channel fucking with them. This is what they're doing to me. And it all started two years ago when the ringleader, who I didn't even talk about, I didn't say nothing about the ringleader, but one of the ringleader's followers by the name of Misunderstood came into my chat stalking and harassing me sick i'm not gonna stop i'm not gonna shut up y'all make sure y'all donate because we're gonna be tied up in some old litigation because i'm not gonna stop these people are not gonna infringe on my constitutional right you're not gonna do that i'm not gonna shut up share this video like this video the reason i'm telling y'all to share this video because i wanted to be made known that this is the continuation of cyber stalking and harassment that has been going on since 2020 because people don't like what i got to say about colorism and darkism that's what this is all about and because i talk about it unapologetically they feel that they can come over here and break the law by cyber stalking me and they're doing it as a means, as instructed by the ringleader. They're doing this as a means to keep me quiet. That's what they're doing. All facts. The cash app is dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Y'all need to make a, a, make a donation. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. I'm going to continue to fight for my constitutional right. I am not going to allow people to stop me from exercising my constitutional right to freedom of speech. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to be quiet. I'm going to keep talking. These folks could cyber stalk me all they want, and I'm still not going to be quiet. I'm still going to keep talking. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. I'm asking everybody in the sound of my voice to make a donation to support my legal fund to fight against cyber stalking and harassment of a black woman on YouTube because people don't like that I'm raising my voice. They want me to be the way that they want me to be, but I'm not the one that's threatening people. I'm not the one that's threatening to kill people. I don't have to do that. I'm not the one that's giving out people addresses. They are harassing and cyber stalking me. That's what's going on. And everybody sees this and knows this.
Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. The PayPal is ice cream lady dream at yahoo.com. 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 You could go to my cash app, my PayPal. I just gave it to y'all, both of them. Go make a donation. I need your financial support to continue my litigation. Here I am over here on my channel, not bothering anybody, not even mentioning anything about the litigation. Yet, the person that initiated this gang stalking, one of their followers came into my chat. Her name is misunderstood and stated that she came to my video from the person and I'm not going to say his name, but misunderstood stated that she came to my video from the person that started all of this. All facts. That's why I'm going to let this damn live run because all the documentation is right there. They keep on cyber stalking me. They keep on harassing me because they think that I'm going to be quiet and I'm not going to be quiet. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Dollar sign Rashida Lala, go donate. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Someone please put my cash app in the chat. Dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, dollar sign Rashida Lala. These are sick individuals. And I don't know, one of them could be deadly. I believe it. I believe that they're perfectly capable of doing deadly things. If a person is threatening to kill you, if a person is threatening violence against you, you believe them. You got to believe them because you don't know what they're going to do. If they bring it out their mouth, if they say it out their mouth, you don't know what they're going to do. You don't know if they're going to do it or not. But this is cyber stalking. This is cyber harassment. My whole chat is filled up with threats of violence comment that she came as a result of the ringleader ever since she came in here there's been racist threats in here look at the chat all you gotta do is look at the chat to see that what I'm stating is the truth sick people evil demonic sick people rashida lala once again dollar sign rashida lala and they think that i'm they're, what they're trying to do is make me shut down my live and i'm not going to do it i'm not shutting down my life because of the cyber stalkers this is a ploy from these cyber stalkers that was initiated by the ringleader two years ago to get me to shut down my life no i'm not going to do it you're not going to bully and harass me. But what I am going to do is I'm going to find out your IP address and I'm going to file a lawsuit against you. I'm going to file a lawsuit for cyber stalking for terroristic threats against me. They're sick people. These people are sick, demonic, and I do believe that they are capable of violence. Anytime you sending people body parts, dead chopped up body parts, you a sick person. Make no mistake, we're dealing with sick people, y'all. If y'all don't hear me say nothing or talk, it's only because I'm continuing to allow this lie to go to document the continued cyber stalking and harassment. That's why I'm doing this. Because these people are giving themselves away in the chat. The chat is where you're going to find all the evidence of the cyber stalking and harassment as initiated by their ringleader.
and if the um if my internet goes out i mean if my uh live goes out it's because i probably don't drove in a place where there's not a lot of uh, there's a bad signal but i'm gonna keep this live running for as long as i can because i'm documenting let this live serve as to document still here I ain't going nowhere dollar sign rashida lala dollar i'm still here i told y'all what's happening is i'm losing the signal while i'm driving around um there's some places that i'm driving nowhere i'm gonna keep my internet signal on here for as long as i possibly can i am not going anywhere